Good morning, Americans and humans. Here on the morning of Friday, April 1st. Ooh, April Fools, 2022. Stand by for a special commentary sitting in for Paul Harvey this morning. So here we go. Well, Americans and humans, this is your favorite alien sitting in for Paul Harvey this morning with a special commentary. Here we are starting the second week of the second month of the, as you call it, war between Russia and Ukraine. And that uh, you can't find no diplomatic solution to this uh, disaster. Uh, and today, well, Russia's going to get a little madder because if it proves to be correct what's being reported about uh, the Ukrainians going over to the border and blowing up a depot on the Russian side of the border, boy, that's kind of fun, huh? Boy, Russia, yo -ho! They blew up something on your side of the border. Isn't that about time? yo -ho! But anyway... This war could be ended very fast and easy. But like I said, you got paper tigers on the West. And the United Nations is a joke. As an alien from another planet, I don't understand your society. You're willing to blow yourselves up for beliefs that don't mean a damn thing to anybody. Does democracy mean a damn thing to you? No. Neither does totalitarianism on the other side. As long as they get what they want. As Mr. Spock would say in your Star Trek programs, the needs of the few do not outweigh the needs of the many. And for centuries on your planet, it's always been the needs of the few over the needs of the many. When are you going to sit back and say, we have to stop this? Democracy is not working for us. Capitalism is not working for us. And totalitarian is definitely not working for us. When are we going to sit back and say, we got to change this? There was a time before democracy, there was a time before totalitarian, there was a time before governments, and there was a time before humans. The planet was still here. But with this human race that you got here, the planet may not be here after you guys, with your silly way of thinking and watermelons for brains, destroy it. Is that what you want? Seems to be. The United Nations does have an interesting thought that it could change and change its member states. Or you could form a new organization, call it the Human Federation. We had to do it. We formed a new form of government and we left our ancestral planet. Are you guys willing to form a new form of government and tell everybody else here that your way of thinking, your way of governing stinks no matter which side you're at? No, because you don't have the balls to do that. I haven't seen it yet. Haven't you stopped to think here, Americans, what's the cost of an egg? What's the cost of a steak? What's the cost of a car? And the cost of gold? They shouldn't have any cost. Is there a cost involved in uh, human survival? Yes. But the ec economics and social structures got to change. Monetary cost is not the way to go because that's an artificial thing you guys created. Like I said, is there a difference between a rock and gold? No. Is there a difference between silver and gold? No. 
Is the steak cost more today than it did 50 year, years ago? No. Only you make it that way. And the price of oil? Why does it change? It should be the same price. Zero. The cost is you have to use a lot of resources to get what you want. And you got to control your populations no matter where you are. This planet can only sustain a certain amount of people. And you got to have nation states that are willing to form a federation and eventually become one union, one planetary union. It may take you decades or centuries, but you should have done this earlier. But what you have allowed to do is you have allowed the technology to grow faster than your social structure. And therefore, you are in this predicament that you are today. So as the United Nations, I still say that my suggestion to the Secretary General of the United Nations to declare the Ukraine a UN nation with protection from entire UN against China and Russia and leave the United States and its cohorts out that way the other part of the planet speaks. Sitting in for Paul Harvey. This is your favorite alien saying, if Mr. Harvey was alive, he would probably like this commentary because what the hell do you guys want? That's a question for you to answer. Good day.